Good day and welcome to the first round of the National Invitation Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler and joining me as always is Dick Vitale. This should be a good one between the Central Florida Golden Knights and the Villanova Wildcats. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Wildcats should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Thirdly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They work the perimeter. He uses the shot fake. Jumps into the defender. Contact causes the shot to come off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. How about a replay, boys? into the low block. The center handles the pass. Number one with the steal. Number one is feeling good. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Looking for the foul. Villanova have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a good shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Perfectly executed. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Working it around the perimeter. Down inside. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. The shooting guard receives the pass. Got the high pick. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Trying to feed the low block. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Number one is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. He bombs from outside. Questionable shot selection there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball.
runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't... His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They push it up on the break. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't... In the wow, a little facial expression. He says, me? That's been moved not success. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Up and inside. And up, Villanova have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Sinks the shot. Number 33 handles the feed. Goes up for two. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The power forward receives the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Controlling the ball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. is picked off. Both teams looking to get things going here. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. It's stolen. Nice job there by the defense. Knocking the ball loose. Then possession. They're working around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. I have to see that one again. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Villanova are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Yeah, that helps. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, they really need to them going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. <laughs> On the inside. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me, that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar.
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. Number one with the finger roll. Game. And they get the turnover. Oh, nice steal. Hey, Brad, he couldn't help but steal it. He put it right in his face. He pulls the trigger. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. They'll work it around the arc. Jumped in front to take it away. Working it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. For two, this one might turn out to be a blowout. Hey, if it continues along this path, I would hate to see tomorrow's headlines. the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? You guys, down here on the sideline, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket, and he missed. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The Big East has always been a competitive conference, but these days teams from this conference are really powerful, too. I don't know what it is, Brad. The teams in this conference are legit. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Thinks about the shot. There's the screen up on top. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three off the rim and no good. Makes the shot. Shooter spotting up on the three. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Let's it fly. We might have ourselves a blowout here. Looks that way, Brad. It's been a very left-sided outing so far. He tries to knock down the three. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. And the ball goes.
goes out of bounds. There they come with a double team to stop it. He dials long distance. It's good. Picked off. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Rims out. He hits the second shot. They scored seven in a row. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's got a high post flasher. They work it back to the outside. Here's the three ball. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, perfectly executed. <laughs> Unloads. Villanova are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Look at that spacing. the top of the key way off target entry pass in the paint gets it to go boy terrible execution on offense for the bucket scorches the net that's a seven zip run I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work the perimeter. Number 10, pump fakes. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Takes it off him. Alley oop. The ball goes out of bounds. A double team waiting there. Number one steals the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets it to fall. I think there's a mismatch in the post. 
They need to get him the ball there. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Not this time. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Post turnaround jumper. Oh, poor job, poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He launches a three. There was no doubt about that one. From the top of the circle. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Central Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. There's the trap. Stolen away. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. Picked out of the air. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Watch the replay, Brad. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Nice high post screen. Up it inside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. With a rejection, up fake. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Ball goes out of play. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. At the end of the first half, the Golden Knights are behind by seven. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half.
Villanova is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving the rock. All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job, the Goliath, coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Knocks it down. On the outside. Fakes a jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He takes the shot off the baseline. That's good. The Golden Knights are down by 12. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. the perimeter launches the three he hits the shot on the outside got a guy right on him on the pass picks off the pass this should be an easy bucket for the bucket and he scores despite the hack He lets it fly. He drains the shot. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. There's the fake. Green goes up for two. Central Florida are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post player flashing. Tries for two. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Coming inside. Way out on top, blocks the shot. That has to be intimidating, Brad. He takes the shot from the baseline. Nice shot. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Take some pride on the defensive end. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Number one makes the finger roll. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Number one is charged with the foul. Second team foul. High post flasher is open. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the three ball. Sinks the shot. work 
it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Gets it to go. Pushes it up. They work it around the arc. Here's a double team. Unloads a three. No good. Jumps in. Scorches the net. Up and inside. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestle. Picks off the lazy pass. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. It up looking for contact. Up, easy one. And the ball goes out of play. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's get a replay, baby. <laughs> Gave it up. Goes for the deep one. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Good job defensively. Up for two, and he scores it off the glass. On the dribble, gives it up. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Defense giving some room. He nails the bucket. They've left him completely alone. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? 
21 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. He sinks it. And he got them both. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Full court pass. He lets it go. Drains the shot. Step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries for two. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised on how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. And first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He puts it in with contact and all. Timeout, Brad. One thing a lot of people don't know about this tournament is that it only allows for one team from each conference to participate in a given year. I like that rule, Brad. It gives every program the opportunity to play in an exhibition tournament and ultimately become more competitive. Here they come with a double team to stop it. From right in the circle, Dickie Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. He takes a three. That was nice. They may have to do a strategic switch here on defense. Hey, good luck on that, Brad. He looks for three. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They work the perimeter. On the inside. Number 33 takes it away. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as expected, the favorite has led the way through most of this one, and that's what happens when you have the makeup of a great team. Thanks, Aaron. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From the top of the key, he buries the shot. Now 
work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Deep with the block. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the baseline. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. On the outside, problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. Hey, hey, he wants everybody to get up. He'll go to the line. First one is no good. It's the second. Villanova are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They run it up into transition. They're working around the perimeter. Nice move with the fix. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He gets that one to fall. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Executes the baby hook. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. Launches away. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. Number 24 is down emotionally right now. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, he's bringing them down. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Takes the pass in the paint. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, Flop City! i tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler.
Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Down in the low block, trying to draw some contact. He gets it to go. it up way out on top controlling the ball they strip him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there moving it around the perimeter work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart you betcha how about this because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us he tries the three he's clearly forcing things right now Dick he's taking his team out of the game it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Number 24 comes up with it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gave it up. Goes up for two. He has the presence of mind to set the screen in time to get off the nice inside bucket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. Here we go on the break. And the ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. it up picked out of the air shot clock is dead now they work it around the perimeter they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass Dick, they had some moments where they didn't look that good, but we expected they'd do this, and they did, and came out with a win. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Villanova destroys their opponent. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.